Good evening, brothers and sisters in the Lord. It's Wednesday and thanking the Lord for this wonderful time and opportunity that He has given us to come to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Today is the last Wednesday for the month of January and it is also the quite a culmination or last Wednesday to discuss and to give importance on the celebration of the National Bible Month. And so tonight, join me as we reflect on the celebration of the National Bible Month. We would like to greet those who are celebrating their birthday today and for the rest of this week. Happy, happy birthday. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And for those celebrating their wedding anniversary, happy, happy anniversary. It is our prayer that your love will continue to grow stronger and deeper as the years go by. Also, we would like to... Um, solicit your prayers, especially with our upcoming activities for the rest of this month. For our mission and evangelism this coming Saturday, January 29, is our 5550 mission evangelism uh, hosted by our brothers and sisters from UCCP Procolo Rodriguez. And also on January 30, that Sunday, our team will proceed to UCCP Magsaysay for our 5550 and cohort training. Also, uh, asking your prayers as we continue to distribute Bibles, not only New Testament, but the Old and New Testament, especially the Cebuano version, so that our brothers and sisters, especially the indigenous people, somehow would understand and able to read the Bible or the Word of the Lord. And so with that, um, we ask you to please pray for us as we do all this mission and ministries of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is being entrusted to us and also to this church. Now let us prepare our hearts and our minds as we come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Good evening. Welcome again our music service. Psalm 8 verses 3 to 4 says, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, what is man that you are mindful of him? Yes, tonight, with all praises to our Father, in humble appreciation for your goodness. All that we can shout out is, You, you are God. Here I am, I've come to thank you. 
Let us pray. Jesus, you are our light, strength, and our hope. We are grateful for your willingness to die on the cross for us so that forgiveness may be made available to us. You have forgiven our transgressions and has cleansed our hearts from sin. We put our trust in you, Lord, so eternal life we will find. Blessed be your name. Praise the Father and praise the Son. In your power, Lord, we stand. Amen and Amen. For our scripture reading tonight, it is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 38 to 39. And it says, For I am certain that nothing can separate us from his love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor other heavenly rulers or powers, neither the present nor the future, neither the world above nor the world below. There is nothing in all creation that will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is ours through Christ Jesus, our Lord. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Once again, good evening. And as I have said already that today is the last Wednesday for the month of January. And I would like to take this wonderful opportunity to reflect on the theme for this year's celebration of the National Bible Month. Um, actually, the, the theme for this year is Pag-ibig ng Diyos ang kasagutan sa dumaraing na sanlibutan or God's love heals a suffering world. As you have probably um, remember that there was this presidential proclamation by no less than our president, uh, Rodrigo Duterte, that January is the National Bible Month. Oh, that is under the proclamation number uh, 20, uh, oh, 124. Uh, this is actually a gesture of how our president truly is giving a high regard to the word of God. For all we know that our country, the Philippines, is a Christian country. So probably uh, that declaration is based on that uh, or from that wisdom. Bible indeed is the very source of light and guidance to our daily living, a lamp to our feet, and a light unto our path. Tonight, uh, reflection is, um, of course, on the celebration of this National Bible Month with the theme that I have uh, mentioned a while ago. So let's ponder on the importance of Bible in our lives the significant effects of the words of God in all areas in our life. So let me start by telling you a story. An old farmer nga nagpuyo sa ilahang farm, kauba ng iyahang apo. So each morning, grandpa was up early sitting at the kitchen table reading his Bible. His grandson wanted to be just like him and tried to imitate him in every way he could. One day, the grandson asked, Lolo, I try to read the Bible just like you, but I don't understand it. And what I do, I, what I do understand, I forget as soon as I close the book. Unsa may maayo nako nga buhaton. And also, what good does reading the Bible uh, do? So the lolo quietly turned from 
um, putting coal or uling in the stove and replied, Take this coal basket down to the river and bring me back a basket of water. The boy did as he was told, but all the water leaked out before he got back to the house. The grandfather laughed and said, You'll have to move a little faster next time and sent him back to the water or to the river with the basket to try again. This time, the boy ran faster, but again, the basket was empty before he returned home. Out of breath, he told his grandfather that it was impossible to carry water in a basket, and he went to get a bucket instead. The old man said, I don't want a bucket or baldi of water. I want a basket of water. You're just not trying hard enough. And he went out the door to watch the boy try again. At this point, the boy knew it was impossible, but he wanted to show his grandfather that even if he ran fast as he could, the water would leak out before he got back to the house. The boy again dipped the basket into river and ran hard. But when he reached his grandfather's grandfather, the basket was again empty. So out of breath, he said, See, Grandpa, it's useless. So you think it is useless? The old man said, look at the basket. The boy looked at the basket and for the first time realized that the basket was different. Nalahi na, na change na. It had been transformed from a dirty old coal basket and was now clean inside and out. Son, that's what happened when you read the Bible you might not understand or remember everything, but when you read it, you will be changed inside and out. That is the work of Jesus in our lives. Your word or God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. That is in Psalm 119 verse 105. Our church is so blessed with people who are so very supportive in supporting the ministries and mission work of the church. We give Bibles, not just the New Testament, but old and new, the Cebuano version. Every time we go mission, we do evangelism. We conduct training, we distribute Bibles. Because we would like the people to not just listen or hear the words of the Lord, but to read it and contemplate, internalize it. They may probably, or they may not probably understood, or they may probably understood the message clearly. But eventually, if there is no Bible to support those messages that they have heard, they will easily forget. That is why the church really invests a lot to um, procure or to buy Bibles, especially for this kind of ministry. Now going back again to the theme of the National Bible Month celebration, Pag-ibig ng Diyos ang kasagutan sa dumaraing na sanlibutan, or God's love heals a suffering world. There are actually two important words here. First is suffering world. Yes, indeed, we can say that because of this COVID-19, different kinds of variants ang niabot. The entire world terribly experienced lockdown. Economy dropped. Many loses their jobs, lost loved ones, and among others. Aside from the pandemic, we, ex all, we also experience natural calamities such as typhoon, flood, fire, 
infrastructures are damaged, houses and other properties destroyed. In Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 24, for all the pain, the sufferings, tribulations that people had experienced before, siguro kung naapay pandemic ato nga time, dagdag pa to sa Christ and agonies of the people. But here is the good news. The Lord's unfailing love and mercy still continue. And in Romans 8, 38 and 39, For I am convinced that nothing can separate us from His love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor other heavenly rulers or powers, neither COVID-19, neither the present nor the future, nothing in all creation that will certainly separate us from the love of God, which is ours through Christ Jesus our Lord. This is our great assurance. Because of the love of God, that alone can heal the wounded world. Because of the love of God that would heal our pain, our suffering, our depression, anxiety, and among others. By the way, bakit nga ba tayo nagkakaroon ng pain? Bakit ba tayo nasasaktan? Why many of us experience depression, stress, rapid heart palpitation? Nagkakaroon tayo ng upset sa st stomach upset, sleepless night. Why? It is because of fear. Fear of the past. Fear of the present, fear of the future, fear of the unknown. Huma naman unta itong naging miaging mga panahon, no? Nga nasakitan ka, di kada na good ang milabay. Pero nga nung balik-baloy kun mang yud na nato, dili ita makamove on. Dugay ng away, dili gihapon makapasaylo. Unya, sige, tagampo the Lord's Prayer. Nagampo o nagpasalamat ta, nga gipasaylo. Ta sa ginoo, unya, kita dili makapasaylo sa uban. Gibulagan pa ka sa imong uyab, o gibulagan ka sa imong bana, o sa imong asawa, sakitan gihapon ka. Dili ni mo malimtan ang sakit. So, as a result, you become a man-hater, or probably a woman-hater. Na, no, na, tungod ana, dili, yun ka makamove on. Nya, sa mga estudyante, tungod kay gihagbong sa teacher, na, nasuko sa teacher, nga nung di man masuko, good. O nga nung dilipod ka mahagbong, di man ka tigsulod sa imong klase, online na gani. You fail to attend your class or your classes. And then you don't even bother to do your task. Zoom na gani, nya, kunuhay nag nag in ka pero nag video off camera off di ay wala ka nag attend no and because of that you wanted to revenge and then as a result sa gikag kasakit why because there is hatred in you you are wounded and the only way for you to experience total peace joy and healing in life is when you allow the love of God to rule in your life. Do not give Satan a space or any chance to destroy you or even a single space in your life because that would certainly make your life miserable. Do not fear for tomorrow. Do not fear what is happening around us because at it is it is written. In 2 Timothy 1.7, Do not fear, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Friends in the Lord, all of us who are listening today, are you wanted? Are you in pain? Are you in suffering? You constantly feel heart palpitation depressed distress 
remember this. The word of God reminds us in Lamentations that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is God's faithfulness. Even though many times that we fail to love him, but his love never ends. Many times we fail him by being unfaithful to him, but his faithfulness is great. True indeed, that the love of Jesus Christ could and would able, enable to heal a suffering person and a suffering world. Thus, let us not neglect or ignore the words of God because they are lamped unto our faith and a light unto our path. Amen. Friends in the Lord, having heard the proclamation of God's word, let us now offer our lives as well as our pledges and tithes, mindful of what Proverbs 11, 24 to 25, that says, One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffer once. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Let us now offer our pledges, our tithes, and ourselves for our life unto the Lord. giving us the opportunity to ponder and reflect on your word. In our celebration of the National Bible Month, we thank all our leaders who gave importance and see the significant effect of your word in one's life, especially as we are in these trying times. Your love heals the suffering world by assuring us of your steadfast love 
that never ceases and that your mercies never come to an end. It is our prayer that all year round we give importance on reading your word. It will truly become alive and active, not just meditate it day and night, but also apply, apply it in our daily life. Bless your people as we come to, uh, as we have worshipped you in spirit and in truth. And bless as well your people who celebrates their birthdays and wedding anniversary. May your abundant provisions be experienced and your love be felt and constantly recognize the nearness of your presence in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, this we ask and pray. And now, may the presence of God the Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen and Amen. Thank you.